guys welcome back to bl world drama your go-to source for the juiciest scandals in the world of bl and gls from trending hashtags to sizzling social media drama i've got it all join me as i dive deep into the lives of your favorite stars with exclusive updates secrets and interviews that will keep you hooked subscribe now ring the bell and let's dive into the glitz the glam and the scandalous world of bl and gls so let's get right into it so today's video is about the jq dinner with friend becky i know i haven't posted uh, for a while but i have been going through some personal things so i apologize for that so friend becky were given awards for nation's trending star and we know that their show was the first gl show and people received it like really 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 well and they started getting endorsements they have they had this huge crowds of people like supporting them and all that so when they did go to the event like they were asked a couple of questions like for christmas and new year are you asking for a gift from the other person next to you and they said they always play like secret santa but what was shocking was that they play secret santa just the two of them which is crazy because you are obviously going to know who is going to give you the gift because you are only two people so probably it was all because they wanted to create a buzz surrounding it they wanted people to talk about it they wanted people to feel like maybe they do something special just the two of them that's why they decided to say that also they were asked about if they have any dreams for next year friend said that she wanted to buy a house this year but it wasn't possible i'm guessing because of the a lot of cancel deals and lack of a lot of endorsements coming her way after her whole friend sang scandal and also See, she said that she's going to hold on to that dream until next year. So if it is possible, she still wants to buy a dog, not a dog, a house next year because she already has a dog now. And we know she has always said she just wants a home and a dog and that will make her happy. So for Becky's side, she said that she's hoping to finish her degree next year. We know she has said about her crazy schedule and how she has to sleep sometimes at around 1, 2 a.m. because she has her classes late in the night. So she's hoping that she will finish next year because she is on her senior level. Becky was then asked about her birthday, which she did explain that her birthday happened when she was on the plane, like coming from New York to Bangkok. So she spent her birthday on the plane and that she, after she landed, she found time. She went around and saw fans projects, went to these cafes, went to this billboard showing like she enjoyed and she's very appreciative of that. And also, friend was asked if she was the first person to wish Becky a happy birthday, which she said she is. Like, that spot is always her or it's reserved for her. But I don't know. Like, they didn't specify because I don't know. Yes, online it's different. And this is not me trying to cost a star. But I do know, like, online, yes friend is the first person who wishes becky a happy birthday online personally i don't know so i won't speak for personally but online we do see that friend is the first person who always wishes becky a happy birthday first becky is then asked if she got herself something for her birthday this year and she said no she didn't have no she didn't get something for herself and friend goes ahead and said but she had time to rest and she said yes she had a lot of time to rest and she had like plenty of smiles friend was then asked what she gave becky for her birthday and she said a scarf now we've seen that becky was posting a lot of pictures with a gushy scarf and also some fans that miraculously met her or whatever posted the same pictures now a lot of people have started digging and pictures have come out of Becky wearing the scarf on 29th, like the minute she got to New York. 
Now, a lot of people are claiming that it means that necessarily friend didn't give to Becky the gushy scarf. Now, like, let's just think this with a level head. I buy you a scarf specifically for the cold season. Now, you and I are going to somewhere that is pretty cold. Yes, your birthday is on 5th December, but we are going on 29th November. That doesn't mean that I will hold on to the scarf until it reaches the 5th of November, especially when I know that that time we will be making our way back to Bangkok, whereby probably the weather is not that much cold for you to put on the scarf then why shouldn't i give you the scarf earlier on and tell you that i have this birthday present i decided to buy you this as a birthday present and it's great timing because you are definitely going to get very good use out of it now a lot of pictures are coming out other pictures are coming out of becky wearing a different scarf during her birthday and which is not a gushy scarf and people are saying that is the gift from friend and like there are other evidences that have come out from a man who works for Valkav wearing the same scarf that Becky is wearing so probably that was a standard issue scarf from people in production or everyone was given that scarf and Becky decided to wear it that day whichever it is like People like to focus on the minute things. And I feel like whether like the gushy stuff was from friend or not, like it doesn't matter. Like no matter how much you say like Becky was wearing, she, wearing it, she wore it so much, like she was obsessed with it. No, she was obsessed with protecting herself from the cold. And she got this scarf. That doesn't mean that probably she didn't have other scarf. She didn't carry other scarf. She probably did. But this was like an amazing gift. Like it is a $576 scarf. So you bet I'm going to wear the hell out of it. Like it's so much money. So that is the conversation going on. And people are laughing. They were also asked about like their relationship now and if they're going to give their fans cute moments like the shipping and they said they're still the same they're still friend bake like nothing has changed so that means like yeah you should be prepared guys when the projects do come out they're going to gear into like a lot of fan service because if they're still the same that means like they will still be pushed and they will be going towards like a lot a lot of fun service like fun service like the way they used to so you guys get prepared if you are going to get ready to fight it will be useless because they have already warned you so put down your armor and like enjoy the ride or get off the bus now they were also asked about their japan music video and how they went went to japan and the way people were so happy that like they were so back, they were so a couple together, they were a team together, and people were praising that Becky and Friend were together. You remember that Becky did write the note in the music video as Beck. She didn't write it as they didn't write those messages as someone. They wrote them as Beck and Friend. So for her to come out in the interview yesterday and actually say that it was Sam and Mon that actually went to japan like it brought different like feelings some people were happy which are the solo stands and the shippers were actually disappointed some of them some of them just didn't care because they were so happy when they were told that friend beck is the same and will remain the same so we've come to the end of this video if you haven't subscribed please subscribe turn on the post notification give me a thumbs up if you like this video share and let me know in the comment section what your thought is about the scarf what your thought is if they were deserving of the national trending like award and do you believe that like the whole issue about friend Beck being the same do you think they're still the same same people they were or do you believe that the august first incident like changed them and they're no longer the same 
Do you actually believe that we will be getting the same fun service that we got before the French saying scandal? Or it will be changed like a little bit and who do you think will be initiating the fan service more? So let me know in the comment section. So bye guys.